Hello everybody, this is Canada Grass here with a different type of video. This is something that I had planned to do for a while about the Toronto International Film Festival, but uh, I'm not going this year, so instead I'm giving you photos from the past. This is Lucy Punch from 2010. The first five or six are my 2010 ones, and we will get into some 2011 ones. This is Barbara Hershey. Uh, here's Nina Dobrev. Um, then we have uh, Rebecca Hall here. So yeah, as I said, I was supposed to be there this year, but uh, Airbnb, uh, they kind of screwed me over, so I'm not going. So I thought I'd put together, uh, this is Ben Stiller, put together this video of clips from my old TIFFs that I've never posted before. It's not all still photos, Andrea Risebrow here. There are some um, video clips in here, but there's not a lot of them, so I, I kind of padded it a little bit with some photos just so the video's not a minute long. That was Ryan Reynolds, of course. Uh, here's the late James Cullen. He was a, a class act uh, the time I saw him there. And uh, we end off the 2010 package with uh, Olivia Newton-John, who also, you know, um, passed away this year. And she was also a class act there. So this is the first video. This is Justin Long. He's talking right now on the phone. And you're thinking, okay, well, that's just rude of you to interrupt him while he's talking. But he's actually here near hundreds of people. The, the crowd of people here, he's on the red carpet. And he was actually talking to a fan in the video that some someone in the crowd had asked him, like, can you talk to my friend? And he grabbed their phone and was walking around with it, talking to them while uh, signing autographs and taking photos with other fans. So, yeah. Um, here's Antonio Banderas and uh, Melanie Griffith on the red carpet. This is of 2011 now. <clears throat> this is uh, Selma Blair there on the red carpet. Uh, we have um, Maya Wazakowska waiting for her ride at the airport. Uh, she was one of the first people to show up for TIFF that year. Um, this is Alexa B Ale Ugh, Alexis Bledel. I butchered that one. Um, there's Kiefer Sutherland, of course. Uh, he... Um, He's from Toronto, so he's almost always around at the film festivals. This was uh, Sarah Bolger. Um, she was there for uh, a film that uh, I didn't know about at the time. Um, so anyways, this is Hugh Dancy. And he was meeting fans at the red carpet. Um, this one's at Roy Thompson Hall, which is their primary main event. Uh, venue for uh, TIFF. It's also, if you watch The Boys, uh, Roy Thompson Hall is what they use for the headquarters for um, for Vought. <clears throat> but it's also the primary venue for red carpet events at TIFF. They have a couple. Also, Princess of Wales gets a lot of attention, but the marquee one is usually considered this one, the uh, Roy Thompson Hall Theatre. There's Hugh Dancy signing for us at the time. Um, and so here's Charlotte Sullivan that year. This was at the uh, TIFF InStyle party, which they always have this on the Saturday every year. It gets a whole a whole variety of guests that, are, that range anywhere from locals to just the top of the tier. <coughs> Sorry about that. Here we have Abby Cornish. This is actually at uh, the premiere of a movie that Madonna was directing. Um, and this is Alison Pill on the red carpet of uh, Goon. Or was it Goon 2? I don't remember which Goon it was. Uh, Nicholas Cage here. He was um, walking out from his pre-red carpet dinner. And uh, he stopped and signed for a few people there. This is Jessica Chastain at her event. Uh, she is one of the more classier acts that there is. Uh, always amazing. This is Ariel Kebble at one of the hotels about to go in to do a press uh, junket. Um, who else we got here? We got Kim Coates showing up to a premiere at uh, Ryerson Theatre, which used to be, in my opinion, the best theatre uh, 
for for meeting people but they have from what i heard this year they are now no longer at ryerson theater which is a huge blow uh, there's Chris Pratt showing up, and he, this on this particular occasion, had brought along Anna Ferris with him, who was with him at the time. So they showed up together um, for this event. <clears throat> and there's Anna there, uh, posing for photos too. Um, While well, Chris was there, Chris was there doing the film, and Anna just came along to support. So, uh, you know, you'll see some some people bring their significant others with them at the time to do that this is Ivan Strahovski on the red carpet at Roy Thompson uh, here's Chloe Moretz um, at a, a red carpet event at the Elgin Theater um, another theater apparently they're not using this year which is just weird uh, Ryan Gosling here um, this would have been at Ryerson he's waving at the crowd and then we had him, uh, he'll come up again later. Sorry, I thought this was going to be him here, but this is Eddie Redmayne, obviously. Um, we have Christopher McDonald, who I only know from Happy Gilmore, you know, since I'm in that film, obviously, you know, my former castmate. <laughs> so this is Ezra Miller, and this is back when he wasn't really that well known and he was signing for a few people. He, I will tell you my personal interaction with this guy. I know a lot has come out in the news, but back then, I met him about three or four times over a couple of different years, and he could not have been nicer. So all the stuff that I've read about him in the last while uh, was a bit of a surprise to me. But, you know, people aren't always as, as they appear in public, you know. <clears throat> so that was Selman Rushdie. And there's Ryan Gosling again. I knew there was another photo of him coming up. Um, we have uh, Dominic Monaghan here. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my uh, voice is starting to go this long in the video. Uh, Adam Scott here uh, signing at uh, Ryerson. There's George Clooney signing. This is the same night as that Ryan Gosling night shot uh, photo. They were in the same movie. This is the uh, late James Gandolfini at his premiere at the Elgin Theater. And this is the late Chris Cornell. He was coming out of the hotel across the street from the venue, so um, I got a couple of photos from him that day. And this, we ended off with the biggest name that was there that year, Madonna. And she was accommodating e enough. Um, you know, when you got someone as big as her, obviously there's a never-ending line of people that are going to want something from her, so she can't possibly accommodate every request that's there. It would have taken her two hours. So she signed about six or eight autographs there. When she did the red carpet at the premiere, she signed for everybody there, and uh, that's it. That I will have more from other festivals soon. Um, maybe later this week, hopefully. Uh, thanks, and bye.